step graphs. Step graphs are for situations where y increases in increments, that is, in steps. So a fairly typical example is the cost of sending a parcel. It doesn't have a linear relationship, so a 100 gram parcel isn't slightly less expensive than a 101 gram parcel. Usually there's um, stages of different weights, up to 50 grams it's this cost, between 50 and 100 this cost. And if we want to graph that information, we use what's called a step graph. So obviously the cost of sending my parcel depends on its weight or its mass. So we need to graph a mass of up to 500 grams on the x-axis and on the y-axis a cost of up to four dollars. So it looks like I've got space to use two centimeters per dollar here. And if I need to get up to 500 grams, so that looks like it's going to be 100, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'll have 2 centimeters per 100 grams. Now I shouldn't have put my little, oh sorry, I'll move up here. I shouldn't have put G there because of course I should have mass in grams down there. Good focus there. And heading up this way, I want to get up to $4. So, one, two, three, four. This, of course, is cost in dollars. Now, there's a notation that we use because if we look at the values here, you'll see that up to 50 grams is then followed by over 50 grams. And it's quite clear here that if I was sending a parcel that was exactly 50 grams, this is for over 50, this includes the 50, so it'd be a dollar 20. But I do have to show that in some way. So, we use a line up to 50 grams is a dollar twenty, so that's a dollar fifty, a dollar twenty. We'll have a line. Just trying to be very careful to show you exactly what I'm doing here. So there's my line, because this is fifty grams here, and that's at a dollar twenty. But what we need to indicate is a circle at both ends to show does a value right here get included here or in the next step. So the endpoints are open circles if the mass is not included and closed circles if that mass is included or the x value, it's mass in this case. So I'm going to do a closed circle there to say that 50 grams is included in this $1.20 step. So when I start my over 50 grams up to 100 grams, which is at $2, I'm going to start here at $2 with an open circle to show that 50 grams is not included in this two dollars. So 50 grams up to 100 grams and my 100 grams will be colored in as the end point because 100 grams is included in this two dollar option. 
So the open circle or the closed circle indicates where we're starting, where our x value is considered to belong. So the next one, over 100 grams, up to 250 grams. So my line, and that will be $2.50, that's nice and easy, that's there. So remember, you can always put your circles in the correct spot, 100 grams, 250 grams, and then work out what will be colored. So, 100 grams is not included here because that's included there. Up to 250, so my 250 would be included here. And draw your line. And then, over 250, we hit our $4 mark. So from 250, I go up to $4 up to 500 grams, take that up to $4, put my line in, and then work out this is open because 250 grams is included here, this will be closed. So that is a step graph and of course since it has a meaning, I'd give it a title, cost of sending a parcel. And then if they gave us a question, we could of course read our answer from that. So if they said, well, what does it cost to send a 120 gram parcel? You'd go to 120 grams, you'd go up until you hit a step, you'd go across and you say, there we go, it's $2.50. So that is a step graph. It lets us see quite clearly that there's different fixed prices at different values. And the only thing to be careful of is closed circle. If the x value is included here, open circle if it's not included here.